Flat top rig. <laughs> Pretty neat. We'll see if we burn the house down. I'm just kidding. I ran a 3080 like that for about a year and did um, did quite a bit of Raven. So, um, I came to turn this off because there was an interesting question in the comments about um, GPU capacity on a B550. Um, but as I went to go shut it off, I forgot I was testing. I wanted to try Bad Ping solo on um, Pyron. So I have 120 milliseconds to this one. And um, that's quite a bit more than I usually do. So with all the math, um, break even is at 15 blocks. Oh, hello. Live update. Uh, and I've got about seven and a half hours left. So we hit pool about 2.30 a.m. Yeah, so, um, so we'll see. But that's... Um, that's what I was going to do, but since we're here, um, do you want to share one of the suppliers I use? Um, not affiliated in any way with anyone or anybody for any money. You will never see a link or anything like that here. Um, but I bought my power supplies since the beginning. Um, my friend sent me that one. It had a burned up six pin, so it was like 20 bucks for a little 850. I think platinum? I don't remember. Somewhere. Yeah, so 20 bucks matches the cables I already have. These are the Prime from Seasonic, so this one was 100. They had one on sale, same way, burnt 6 pin. But um, it didn't come with the cables, and holy smokes, cables went up. Um, that accessory cable package without the motherboard, which I already have a bunch of motherboard ones, um, was 50 bucks. So I just went ahead and did their regular one. <laughs> But um, these are super nice. I like these. Um, this is a 1300, and so that's where you get to save the money for little stuff like that. But who cares? Um, I can't remember the company, but they're a reseller. These are all from different farms. Um, so their GPUs are generally always overpriced. Um, not all of them, but they have like some data center ones. That's where some of that stuff comes from. But like these, I bought these. Good golly. Maybe a month or two after ETH went, they had so many good deals from everybody shutting down because GPU mining was dead. It was one of those 100 times where GPU mining was dead. Uh, which is, I think is now again, but don't tell anybody it's not. It's a secret. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, do get, um, I do get my power supplies from them, generally. I'm in usually pretty good boxes, but beware, check prices for sure, and um, shop around, but it's what I'm comfortable with, so. Um, okay, well, uh, we'll see since that power supply already has um, connected where the uh, Z590 was. Um, I'm just gonna try 10 cards real quick on the B550 test rig before, because uh, I'm building that rig next anyway, so it'll be a fun um, thing to kind of do and, and get some experience on, because early on, um, I don't know if rightfully so or not, but wherever in the forums or whatever I was reading somewhere, it said um, the larger card counts on consumer boards, which is what I'm interested in. I don't, I like consumer products. Um, but they said, you know, it was recommended to do Intel over AMD for the higher card counts. So um, we'll see if that's true. I've never tried to do um, 10 on an AMD. So um, we'll see what's up. We got the splitters. We got the cards. For science. <laughs> well, I was a little impatient. So I brought it out to the garage. And I just have it laying in there. It all powers up from the 1-1600. Uh, this is our B550 test rig. Um, one thing I did notice as I come in to do some of these settings um, on the bottom line here, if I utilize PCI 1.3 or PCI 1.2, it is going to um, change the main two ports 
on their mode. Um, those two ports it's mentioning are down here. Um, so if I do run into problems on um, inserting number 9 or 10, because I'm going to use these um, four ways uh, in these two um, main lanes that will split um, amongst themselves. And so um, the other two um, I was going to plug in individually um, on those ports. So if I do run into a problem on 9 and 10, um, because this particular board uh, does split that way and those occupied ports will affect the two main ports, um, then I can run this one, which is not listed as affecting the main two ports. And I'll try that with this um, faulty four-way, but it does do two-way. So um, either way, we'll see if we can do um, 10 cards uh, here or not. Um, everything else I do, well, I'll show on the next one. But generally, um, just Gen 1 above 4G encoding. Um, I generally leave resizable bar off unless I'm dealing with Intel, although I have had that effect. What rig was that? One rig, it mattered. I can't remember which one. Um, and I go through and turn everything off when I'm doing a large number. So I'll turn off sound, I'll turn off all the SATA ports that aren't being used. Um, what else? Um, basically, if you're not using it, turn it off in the BIOS and that, that's going to help us um, get all this stuff recognized. So, um, And I, I just load one card at a time, I let it load the driver, turn it off, do a restart, um, or not a restart, do a power down. Um, I'll put in the second USB and um, just go like that, let it install the driver, it takes you know, a minute or two each one. And I've had more success doing that than, than trying to get a few cards at a time. Um, I have done that in the past, and I think like up to four or six cards, that's, you can kind of get that to work. But um, I do this because it works 100% of the time. So if it's going to work, um, you know, it'll, it'll work doing this. So um, ramble, ramble, ramble. Let's pass some internet time. Um, okay, so... I think 4G was already on. I already had resizable bar disabled. Um, so I disabled most of the SATA ports, turned off lighting, set everything PCI to Gen 1. Uh, just anything not being used I turned off, so I'm not using the serial port. Um, I think I found these labels right on the motherboard. There was a little discrepancy in some of these, um, the later part of the, whatever this nomenclature is. So. Um, we'll start and see if we lose a mouse or a keyboard, but um, I think I've left just those two on. Um, or I think I've left those on, hopefully. But um, we'll see if it boots. And if we have a mouse. Um, and if we do, we'll try a card. So. We got moths flying around. Um, yeah, okay, do we have a mouse? We have a mouse! Do, hello, do we have a keyboard? We have a keyboard. Okay, well, I'm gonna boot a bunch of uh, GPUs in slot one, and I'll do four more in slot two, and then I'll try the last two down there. And, uh, See what's up. All right. Well, um, long story short, ten cards. Um, so I did one at a time um, with only this riser installed. I got up to four. Um, during that shutdown, I installed this riser uh, with just one USB. Um, that was the first kind of like stutter or whatever. Uh, maybe it took about five, ten seconds longer to load into Windows and. Um, it previously did, but I kind of expected that with um, the lane starting to split there. So, um, filled that up. The only other one that was any kind of hiccup at all was the eighth one on here. And so, um, during that startup, it probably paused for about 20 seconds. I was a little more, um, 
worried, but for no reason. Um, these last two went extremely smooth, like they booted very quickly and pulled up um, very easily. Uh, somewhere on number seven or number eight, uh, it did not want to do the driver automatically, so I don't know why that was. Uh, I gave it a few minutes and it had the uh, warning symbol, um, so I did a um, right click, my apologies, and uh, down here it said, you know, driver, blah, 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 sippity goop. Uh, but it had a driver, so um, I just put um, scan for new hardware, and uh, <clears throat> everything was fine. And then I, I think a restart would have solved that anyways, um, which is probably what it needed. So, um, But yeah, 10 cards, no problem. Um, I went into 188 LOL, but I didn't have anything saved, and <laughs> since I have all the USB off, um, I got lucky. So all those were labeled. I know that tower is completely off in BIOS. Um, I know the C, the USB-C, or whatever that tiny one is, is off for sure, I, that label was clear. But I wasn't sure on, on the actual like USB port, and it turned out it, it was good. But I know those other ones are off, so I don't have a USB port to um, import stuff over. But I've got 2060 clocks, and I'm just going to do it in lithium, because testing, why not? And um, I haven't done anything, so all I've, they've just registered, so we're, we're along for the ride here. We're going to see what's up on old 182A for Alivian. Does it work? Will it take the OCs? Please don't mine on the iGPU. What are you doing? Let me see that. Zero three nine. Holy to moly. Yeah, so I read an article three years ago on the internet, or an opinion, or I don't remember what it was, but a lot of people said, yup, 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 uh, like in the thread or whatever I was reading, and uh, basically said, don't, don't try to do, you know, like eight, ten cards on AMD. I never tested it, I never knew if that was true, but I found some deals on 11400s, which I like on the Intel side. I know that's a controversial opinion, but I like those little CPUs. Um, and that was my base for 10. So, but it picks up 10, it mines. Um, so yeah, 10, 10 cards on a B550. I would imagine with more VRAM, you might have to do some other settings. Um, oh, what's that one? Paging file or whatever, if you're logging and all that stuff. Um, also, all the regular mining stuff, but anyways, um, it does hash. I don't want to pull up any like heavier algos because it, <laughs> it since it isn't in here impromptuly in the garage, um, it's just on the GFCI uh, outlet series out here. So um, I don't think no, nothing's on sharing that at the moment, but I don't want to overpower that. Um, But yeah, uh, 10 cards on a B550. It mines. Um, you know what? Let's, before we sign off, um, see if it can CPU mine and um, still maintain 10 cards. See if it's um, laggy or not. Now my mouse is laggy because I'm just using a table, but no, yeah, it's snappy. We didn't crash here. Did we crash here? No. Yeah. Okay. Well, 5700G um, underbolted in BIOS. Nothing aggressive. Um, and nothing special done. I just plug those in uh, and turned off all the peripherals like at the beginning. And so about 20 minutes in, everything seems pretty good. Yeah, 
So B550, um, 10 cards, no problem. We did science. Woohoo! Alright, happy hashing, y'all.